Hey, what's up, guys? It's Larry, the mortgage guy. So this is Ruptor, and I'm going to talk about return on investment. Uh, sorry if uh, it's noisy, it's raining. Uh, if, it's, if you guys can hear me, then I'll redo this video later on when it's not raining. But I'm going to talk about return on investment. And I'm not talking about spending money on ads or anything like that and then trying to make money back. I'm saying returning on your investment in terms of time and effort and energy. Okay. When it comes to Facebook and social media marketing, the way I look at my marketing is it's a constant investment into my brand or my marketing or my persona or my footprint or whatever, right? It's kind of like uh, when you have a TV show, you have episodes and the episodes constantly build to make the complete season, right? has to be consistent has to be all the time and if you're watching a TV show uh, loyally you know religiously whatever something that might happen at the last episode might not make sense unless you watch the first episode so because you watch the first episode you got a payoff right you got you know they, 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 they talk about something in the last episode that was to told you in the first episode whatever right and the only way you could, again, enjoy it is if you got the whole picture. Uh, same thing with Facebook marketing. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you are an episode or your life is an episode, but something that you might do now might not pay off until later on, okay? Uh, something that you might say, uh, something that you might post, maybe a meme, maybe a video, whatever, it might not give you results immediately. Okay, uh, it might be something that someone runs into later on. Okay, that's kind of the whole point of putting content up, right? So the only way you can do this sanely, and when I say sanely, meaning you can keep on investing without seeing a return, is by being consistent and making it a habit. Okay, if what you do becomes habitual, then you know you no longer feel like you're putting out effort and time and energy, meaning you're not really investing, you're just kind of being natural. And if you can just naturally invest and build your brand and your footprint, then it will become easy and therefore you won't really even think about it as an investment or time or energy or anything like that. And it will pay off. So in order to take advantage of the idea of an ROI when it comes to your social media marketing, you have to do, you have to do two things, okay? And, and I didn't really talk about that in the beginning because I wanted to kind of tell you the story, but the two things that you need to get from the story is number one, you need to constantly be doing it. So it takes work. You can't just put out a YouTube video one time and expect it to, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, give you any kind of a return, right? You have to be consistent and you have to do it always, constantly. Like I said, this works. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is you have to realize and be patient and know that you might not get a return immediately. Okay. That's kind of how marketing works, especially in the social media world. Okay. Uh, basically, this video I'm making right now might not give me any kind of return until a year later. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So hopefully you got some value of that. If you have any questions, give me a call. Text me, email me, whatever you like. This is Larry, the mortgage guy. Sales is Ruptor. I'm out.